syndrome in childhood is one of the most commonly encountered syndromes in pediatrics. Uh, as medical undergraduate, it is important that you know how to clinically diagnose Down syndrome and also to know what are the common complications associated with the syndrome and also what are the common assessment you need to perform when you encounter a child with Down syndrome. So in our, our today's educational video, we will be concentrating on a pediatric trainee who will be demonstrating uh, the assessment of a child with Down syndrome. And this video has been created in a real-time routine ward round. Uh, and you, you need to concentrate on the discussion which happens between the examiner and the candidate. And there will be some background information also provided. And also please pay attention to the subtext which has been embedded in this video, which I have created mainly to highlight the important points. So before we go to the educational video on Down syndrome, I must thank the mother of this child who was kind enough to give us permission to create this video purely for educational. Uh, Half year old education. child with Down syndrome who has been seen only at birth and after that the child has defaulted from to me. So you are seeing the child for the first time at one and a half years. Uh, do a general examination and any relevant other examination to find out the current problems the child is suffering from. Uh. Shall I give an yes, better. Give you an so, any features which confirm that this child is having Down syndrome? He's having upward slanting eyes, upward slanting eyes open mouth, mm -hmm. and Seems to have brachycephaly as well. Okay, shall we? Can you show the brachycephaly? Ah. Ah. Yes, okay, brachycephaly agree. Mm -hmm. White sandal gap. Where's the white sandal gap? Ah, yes. Yes, okay. Also. Okay, single palm crease. Can you show it again, please? Ah, right. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. And curve. Small finger. In curve. Fifth finger. What do you call that? Clean or active. Clean or Oh, right. Fine. Okay. Features. Okay. Seven. Yeah, that's enough. So Just she's okay. Anything else you see in this child over the one and a half years? Uh, uh, he's having difficulty in sit sitting. So what can you tell about his tone? That is hypotonia. He's having hypotonia. Is it compatible with Down yes. syndrome? Down. Yes. Okay. What about the growth? Growth seems to be uh, not. I want to check weight and height, sir. Okay. It seems he is not grown adequately for his age. Right. So there is a growth delay as well. Delay as is it well. compatible again with Down yes. syndrome? Yes. Yeah. Down syndrome and uh, regarding his developmental assessment also, uh, in gross motor wise, he is uh, unable to sit with support. Yeah, he should be at least walk with support. Yeah. And. Uh, so Can you uh, hear any words coming from him? No. No. Sir. What are the things you hear? Uh, it's like uh, monosyllables. Monosyllables. Maximum polysyllables. Maximum eh? polysyllables, right? And uh, no strange fear seems. And he is very uh, cooperative. Hmm. In a very happy mood. Again, compatible with Down syndrome? Down syndrome. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are you going to say? I don't know any murmurs. Murmurs, okay, That's right. It. Ejection systemic mama uh, in second intercostal space towards left side of the sternum, suggestive of a V uh, eight receptor defect and uh, mild splitting also there. But I couldn't hear uh, large uh, second heart sound is uh, not loud, sir. Second heart sound is so not I loud. I think no pulmonary hypertension at the moment. What is common in Down syndrome? It's uh, 
Right. Fine. Even VST also. Fine. Okay. Carry on. Anything else you would like to check uh, apart from the cardiovascular system? Abdomen. What are the things you will look in the abdomen? Whether there are any fecal masses. Okay. Perfect. Sorry, Stephen. Yeah. Okay. So you want to see whether there are fecal masses? <laughs> Are there any fecal masses? No, sir. No fecal masses. And uh, no hepatomegaly. No hepatomegaly. Okay. Why are you looking for hepatoendosplenomegaly? Yeah, because uh, in Down syndrome, they can have hematological malignancy. They can have hematological malignancy. Any scars which you are looking for in the Not abdomen? Not scars. In the abdomen? Uh, to see whether in the uh, duodenal... Uh, mm. Duodenal atresia. atresia. Okay, right. Is duodenal atresia common in uh, Down yes. syndrome? Yeah. So you always look for a duodenal atresia repair scar. Where, what will be the scar like? Can you show the scar in the abdomen? Uh, it will be in the upper abdomen. Yeah, upper area. abdomen? Uh, transverse. Transverse scar, okay, right. So if you see upper abdomen, uh, transverse scar, yeah. You have to suspect duodenal atresia. What other system would you like to look for? System, okay. The oh, yeah. And the hips. Whether, hips, yes, right. Uh, whether they have any uh, developmental dysplasia of the hip because he is having uh, difficulty in uh, cross motor domain as well. Okay, okay. So, so just because he can't sit, it may not be solely due to Down syndrome. Can hypotonia and hip dislocation yes. be associated? Okay. That's if you are suspecting development dysplasia which has not been picked up. Uh, there will be asymmetrical skin creases of the thigh, right? Okay. But from the movements, do you think there is no. a dysplasia? No. Why? There is full, full uh, abduction. abduction. Full abduction and full flexion is there. Okay. Any other system related to Down syndrome? Any endocrine? Yes. Uh, whether they have thyroid, hypothyroid features. Hypothyroid features. Now, are there any hypothyroid features uh, in this child? At the moment, no. Sir. No. Okay. Well and active. Yes, looks very well and active. Anything, any physical sign you would like to check regarding hypothyroidism? Goiter and ah, okay. The check for a goiter, yes, yes. And reflexes. Any other system? You said he's still not speaking. Hearing assessment Hearing assessment has to be done. So, what can you do roughly at this stage? Can you demonstrate the distraction test? Ah, right. So we are going to do the distraction test, okay. Hide it. Okay, right, he's looking there, right, okay. Distract, hide it. Okay, he's looking there, right, good, good. <laughs> Right. So, are you happy with the distraction test? So, can you now summarize your findings? Yes. So, on examination of this child who is having features of trisomy 21, okay. uh, I would uh, like to check his anthropometric parameters okay. and also OFC to yeah. check where he plots. And uh, on system, the prelude system examination, he is having a cardiovascular system, he is having a mama suggestive of Hmm. And uh, but in speech wise, he's uh, he's having polysyllable uh, 
So overall, all the development age comes to around eight to nine months. Maximum nine months. Okay. Any referrals you will make apart from the two D echo hearing assessment? Any other referral you will make at this moment? Speech therapy and eye referral. Eye referral. Eye referral. Okay. What are what will you see in the eye referral? What are the common errors they find out in a Down syndrome child? Refractory errors are very common. Cataracts are common, okay, and nystagmus. Nystagmus are common, right? Okay, right. Good. Thank you.